Here we are, back out here at the State Agent Simulator, just out here on the porch hanging out. Nice farm across the street. I received a Steam key for a State Agent Simulator from keymiller.co. I'll put the link down in the description. Thank y'all for coming back out here on the State Agent Simulator. Let's get this up and see if our furniture's still in there. Oh yeah, it's still here. All right, let's go ahead and go take this over to the house. Now, when I do that, the garage door closes. So let me open it again. Let's figure this out. Okay, the door's open. So what if I put, let me put a sponge in my hand. And it closed. <laughs> What's going on? What am I doing wrong here? Let's see if we can figure it out. Okay, so we're gonna need the we're gonna need the garage remote. All right. So let's open the door. Now I can't get in the truck when I have this remote in my hand. I can't get in. I'm trying. Believe me, I'm trying. I can't get in. Okay, so. What if I just click on the remote again? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> okay, let me get in the car. And now can I open it? No, I can't, e I can't even get the remote control in my hand. Okay, back out of the truck. Here we go again. We're going to get this, y'all. Open the remote. I can get in the car. I don't know how I did it, but I can get in the car. Let's back out. I don't have. I, I, I don't know how I did it, but I almost got in a wreck because I was so excited. I don't have a clue how I did it. We're going to have to try to replicate that. We're going to have to duplicate that again later. So what I need to do, I need to close that garage door. Oh, so I just held Q. I held Q and I didn't actually take it out and I clicked on it and it opens. I click on it again, it closes. So I just held Q. I didn't actually take it out. And now I'm stuck with a tablet in my hand. There we go. I just push escape. So let's try this. So I so I just I didn't click on it. I just pointed at it and let it go and it came up. So let me open it. And now what if I just point at it? It's not doing anything now. So what if I click it? Now it closes. So now let me see if I can get this out of my hand. No, that didn't work. That didn't work. Okay, we really are going to do something on this recording besides play around with this remote. <laughs> Okay, I want to I wanna take it out of my hand. Okay, so I didn't click it. I just pointed at it and let Q go. We're figuring this out. All right, let's get on over to the house. First, I don't even remember where the house is at. So we're right there in Shoreditch. So let's head on to Shoreditch. Oh, we're only 470 meters away from Shoreditch. Hope you're having a great day today. Now, can we turn here? Looks like we can. We're going to try it. We're still learning this map. We can go right on red here. Going around the curve. Here at Kings Road and Bond Street. Okay, here's our house. Do we have a driveway? Looks like the driveway's right before the house. Let's pull up in here. Now, how do we open that? How do we open that tailgate? Oh, open the storage. Okay, so we can just take it out one at a time. Let's go ahead and take the bed out. 
we really are carrying a bed y'all <laughs> okay number 32 you know what i just thought of this house i think has two bedrooms i thought we cleaned this house already maybe we didn't oh well we'll set this bed down in here so we rotate it with the scroll oh man this place is filthy We'll set that down right there. So let's get rid of these pests first. All right. Now let's get a sponge. I hope we're in the right house. Yes, we are. I see the paint. Remember, we painted it in the first. Wow. Oh, that's right. Now I know I cleaned it because I cleaned from this side of the wall to get rid of that. I remember that. So it just got dirty again, I guess, because nobody's living here to keep it clean. And I haven't been back out here lately. That's only 21%. Eight percent. Now, where's the rest of the dirt and trash at? I don't see anything else that needs to be clean. Dirty value, eight percent. I don't know where that eight percent's at, y'all. I'm not seeing it. Oh, there it is. Well, that's four percent now. Oh, there it is. We got it. So you just got to really look around good. Okay, let's go ahead and bring the furniture in. We're going to have to get another bed for that other bedroom. Oh, you can tell you're carrying a sofa. Hey, it fit through the door. All right. This is a this is a weird layout. I don't know where we're going to put that thing. Looks like it's stuck up there. What do we do? Drop it? It won't let us bring it in. Here we go. Where are we going to set this? How about we just set it back in here and make like a little nook? Yeah, we'll just make a little entertainment nook. A little den, a little TV room. Set that there. So the average rental value is $49.05 to $59.95. Wow, we need to get this thing on the market. You know what? I'm going to back up on the grass. I'm going to get close to the door. Grass needs to be mowed anyhow, right? No mail. Go ahead and grab the refrigerator and carry it in. Oh, you know what? I think I tried to make the kitchen area into a den. I'm going to have to. Let me set this down for a minute. Do we have a kitchen area? No, we don't have any counters or anything. I don't even have anything to set the microwave on. I'm going to have to move this. Okay, so let's put it back here like this. Now we can put the refrigerator back in the corner here. We need to go back to the store to get a bed for that other bedroom so we can go ahead and get a little table while we're there to set the microwave on. Let's take the dresser in.
You know what? I might put the dresser right here. That way I can set the TV on it. Yeah, they got plenty of room here. Oh, yeah, we'll do that. Wow, look at the price going up for the rental value. It pays to get furniture. It's time to go home and sleep. Oh, man, I don't even have everything in here. Set the table there. I wonder if it'll let me go ahead and keep getting furniture and bring it in. It's letting me. I'm going to carry it on in if it'll let me. My neighbors finished building their house and they recently moved in and they have several really big, beautiful dogs outside in their yard and those dogs really love barking so i hope they're not uh carrying through on the recording y'all i didn't mean to get out i didn't mean to get in the truck i wanted to open storage oh man the house is getting dirty again I'll put this right in front of the door when you walk in if I can. Maybe move it over just a little bit. There we go. We're going to have to remember to take a picture and clean the home again before we put it on the market I'm gonna go ahead and I thought we had four chairs I guess we didn't bring I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get the rest of this stuff in the house and I'll be back with you in just a sec all right we're back at the furniture store we're gonna load up what we already bought that we couldn't carry I notice if you look at the truck when it's empty, it says zero of 15. So we can carry 15 items in here. Let's go ahead and get our chairs loaded. Put in storage. Put in storage. That's easy enough. Put in storage. I think that's all we have out here. We're going to go inside and buy. We need to get a table for the microwave. Oh, man, it's closed. They won't open until 9 o'clock. Okay, let's go home and sleep. Then we'll come back to the furniture store and get a little table or a counter or something, put the microwave on, then head back out to the house. We need to clean it again. That's one thing I learned is uh, you might as well wait if you're going to put furniture in it. You might as well wait till you put furniture in it. You might as well wait till you put furniture in it and then clean it. Because I noticed we already have to clean it again. So let's get some sleep. Hello, darling. I have work to do. Can I talk to you later? I wish there was a choice on here that says, sure, talk to you later. What are you doing? She's saying I have work to do. Can I talk to you later? And we're just saying, what are you doing? Or I'm waiting for you. When will you be done? <laughs> I'm working. What do you want? <laughs> I'll see you later. Yeah, I'll see you later. So our relationship's 84%. I'm surprised it says it's that good the way she's talking to me. <laughs> oh, man. I need to eat something. Oh, man. I better eat some Gerber, Gerber King French fries. And a donut. I need to go. I need to go grocery shopping. That's not taking it up much. Well, now it's 72%. So let's go ahead and go to sleep. Wow, these days go by fast, and we don't get up till 9 in the morning. And all I've done was walk downstairs, and it's already almost 9.30. Mercy. I didn't even have time to say hello to my wife. Okay, let's go to the furniture store.
Let me mark it on the map. Storage wars. Wonder when they're gonna have that. I hope we can keep a renter in that house we're furnishing because it's gonna go for a good price. It looks like. Oh, you can sell stuff here. I guess we go to storage wars and get stuff we don't want to keep. We can come sell it. Hello, Emily. I want to buy some new furniture. I'm looking for something to put a microwave on. You can't really tell how tall those are. They don't look very tall. Hmm. They don't look tall at all. That might be tall enough, but that looks like something you'd put your laundry in. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and take a table because I know it's a table. I think it's going to be really, really sharp, though. We're going to go with that one. It's purchased. Need another bed. They're the same price. We might as well go with the larger one. Okay. We'll see you later, Emily. I know we need a lot more stuff, but we need to get some money. And why is he just sitting there? Am I pulled into the road too much? Is that what it is? All right, I'll be out of the way here in just a minute. Appreciate y'all's patience. I think that's it. Okay, here we go. Kings Road. So we live down at Kings Road and Bond. Bond Street. Now it's saying Oxford Street. It was saying King's Road. Now it says King's Road again. King's Road and Bond. All right, let's just get the furniture and then we'll clean it up. should have bought another TV for the living room. I had to take the one out of the bedroom for now. Okay, I think that'll work for the microwave. Yeah, that'll work. It's kind of sharp, but it'll work. So if we get that TV, we don't have anything set it on. I need to think this out better, don't I, when I go shopping. So now I need something. I wish I could put it on the wall. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'd be real nice if I could put it on the wall in there. I 
I keep getting in the truck when I'm not planning on it. Two more chairs to carry in. So I guess if I'm going to get a stand to put that TV on, I need to do it before I rent it. Because after I rent it, I probably can't get in the house to do that. Okay, it's up 69.30 to 84.70, but that's with it really, really dirty. Let's grab this TV. We want it to be right there but I need something to set it on so let's do this let's move this and we're going to run get something to set that TV on then I'll come back and clean the place up and take a picture so I'll be right back y'all okay so believe it or not we had to go home and sleep we're, we're here at the service station now across from the dealership we got to get some more food we're almost broke we have to get that home cleaned again and take a picture and get it on the market we bought a couple items at the furniture store okay so chips were twelve dollars looks like a chocolate candy bar twenty dollars donut twenty five dollars so let's just start buying stuff oh it's dropping on the ground we need to pick it up all right pick up pick up pick up those are only $2. Well, let me look at my inventory right quick. Okay, so that, it doesn't say how much nutrition it gives you. I guess you just got to eat it and find out. Okay, so right now we're 65%. This is a $2 bag of chips. Let's eat that. Wow, $2 bag of chips took it up to 89%. Wow. Let's eat a $20 donut. That took it up only 10. I know what we're going to be buying. We're going to be buying $2. I know what we're going to be buying. We're going to be buying $2 chips. $2 chips. Okay, there's $10 worth. Let's pick up our chips. Wow, looks like we can hold a lot of $2 chips. I want to get a bottle of water, too, just so I can check it out later and see how much it gives us. So the race is open today. Let's get our chips. All right, our inventory is looking better. We got a lot of chips. Let's get on over to this house because this time goes by fast. It's two in the afternoon already. It just goes too fast. Too fast. The days just go by too fast. Right, let's get on up to number 32 Shore Ditch. We got to hurry. It's almost three o'clock already. I really wanted to get this house on the market today. We got to clean it. We got to take a picture. Still got a couple items of furniture to put in. <whistles> what that dinging means? Not sure what that means. Okay, let's take this in. We're gonna set the TV on this in the in the living room. That looks like that's backwards. All right. 
Yeah, that looks good. Got this little table to put in front of the bed. Okay, nice. So 70, 65 to 86, 35. And it says dirty value. But I don't see any trash at all anywhere. Maybe I need a mop. I don't know. I don't see any trash anywhere. I don't have a mop. I have a sponge, but there's there's not anywhere I need to clean. So maybe I need to uh, rent it like this. Well, that refrigerator looks bad. Move it over a little bit. I want it in the corner, but I don't want it poking through the wall. There we go. That looks good. So, I don't see anything to clean, y'all. Let's look outside. Is anything clean out here? No. Grass needs to be mowed. Dirty value. Hmm. Okay, let's take a picture. Get our tablet out. Go to camera. There we go. Now where's our picture? My photos. That's not a very bright picture. Let's take it again. Tablet. Camera. Wow. Man, that sun went down fast. That sun went down fast. Okay, let's take a picture with the flash on. Now let's go look at that. Oh, yeah. The one I took at night looks a lot better. Let's get rid of that one. Okay, let's go home and sleep and put this house on the market. Let me see what did it say we could get for it. Says dirty value. Oh, says dirty value zero. Oh, that's the furniture. We could put three more items of furniture in here. Oh, <laughs> how many of y'all were shaking your head? <laughs> Saying lame. <laughs> Look at it again. <laughs> okay, 7065 to 8635. So let's go ahead and get home and get this home on the market. All right, I'm going to go home and get some sleep, and I'll be right back. All right, it's morning time. Where's Kay at? Oh, there you are. At least she says hi. I'm fine. You, I'm tired. It was a tough day. How are you? I'm okay, my love. How are you? I don't feel so well. How are you? I'll say I'm fine. And you, I'm okay. I miss you. What? You're finally talking sweet to us? All right. I don't, I don't like any of those ideas in this, in this phase of our relationship. It's 84%. I don't want to say I'm going to bed. I don't say, can you give me some money? I don't want to say I have something on my mind. So I'll just talk to you later. That didn't improve our relationship at all, but 
I'm a busy man and I didn't like any of those options. I would have liked to just talk for a little while and made that relationship go a little stronger. <laughs> Here we go. We got to go put this on the market. Let's go to work. Let's go to the office. Because I know if I would have chose some of those options they were giving me, she would have just rejected me again. All right, man, this office looks bad. This office looks bad. Let's park right here and clean this up. State agent, we got to come up with something better than that. Okay, is this plastic or glass? So, if we put it in the right bin, then we'll get paid some money for it. So, the first one must have been glass. I put it in plastic. Get a little bit of money for cleaning the place up. Rent the house. Advertise the house on the tablet. Collect rents on a daily basis. Talk to customers who come to the miniature and rent the houses. All right, let's do that. Sitting at our desk, we've got a picture of our wife there, a newspaper. I don't have that talent. Okay. What if we can design our office? So exterior... Signboard, enter the text. Okay, we're just going to call it Homes for You. Signboard model. It changed, it changed what I had written on it. Signboard model. I only have $323, and that's $1,000, $2,000, $1,500, 1500 We don't have enough for any of that. $750, $1,750, $3,500, dollars We can't do any of that. We can change the wall. Lot to choose from there. Okay, I think that'll stand out. Let's buy that. $100. Well, first, we better see if we can change our sign. That cost $100, too. Homes for you. They're going to make me type all that again. Homes for you. Okay. You can change the spaces. You can space it out. You can change the text size. Let's make it homes for you. Homes for you. Make it fit there. You can change the color of the letters. Homes for you. Can't change the backdrop though. So we'll leave that there because that's what we can afford for now. Okay, let's buy that. Seven fifty, twelve fifty. We can't change that, so we'll leave that just like it is. Interior design. We're not going to be able to do anything because we don't have the money. Five hundred, seven fifty, twelve fifty, three thousand, five thousand. They got some nice choices. Wall. We could change the wall. A lot of stripe designs. That there, I click on it and it doesn't do anything. Six hundred for that. Seven fifty. Eight hundred. Can't change any of that. The floor. We'll look at the choices, even though we probably can't afford it. No, the cheapest one's two hundred. Three hundred. Four hundred. Six hundred. Six fifty. Seven fifty or seven hundred rather. Okay, we can't do any of that. So let's back out of that. And let's hope it doesn't cost to put this home on the market because we don't have any money except $123. And it's time to go to bed again almost. Can you believe it? Today's the day. Oh, man, we missed storage wars. We need to keep an eye on this mail, don't we? I just totally missed it.
Okay, here we go. Picture, choose a photo. That's the only photo we have, so we're going to go with that. Cheap or expensive? Dirty value 1%. Enterprise. So 8000 is getting close to the expensive part of the bar. So let's go for 9. Oh, 9 is too high. All right, we're going to start off with 8400 Number of rooms, two bedrooms, one bath. Cost 28600 It is furnished. Does not have a garage. It's a long ways from school and a long ways from the city. Okay, let's put that on the ad. Now we wait. Go home and sleep. Well, we'll go home and sleep, and we'll come back and hopefully get this house rented. I'm just going to walk to the office in the morning. I wish I could open that garage from inside the truck. It's a lot easier to put the truck in the garage when you know what you're doing. And I finally think I figured it out. Okay, let's go sleep. Hello, darling. I have to work. Can I talk to you later? What are you doing? I'm working. What do you want? I'll see you later. Hi, right, it's nine o'clock. Let's see how fast we can get down to the door. Get out of here. All right, I made it to the porch by 920. So let's go back up and say hi to our wife. Oh, she's going downstairs. Hey, hey, where are you going? Okay, got a minute. Hello, how are you? I'm okay, my love. How are you? I'm wonderful, my love. It's so good to be with you. All right. I don't like any of those options. I need more options. Don't want to say I'm going to bed. Same as earlier. I have something on my mind. I don't have that on my mind because with 84%, she's going to say no. Can you give me some money? No, I don't want to ask her for money. Okay, we'll see you later. Today the race is open. we got to get this house rented. We're just going to run over to the office. Oh, we got people standing here in line waiting. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Come on with it. Come on, who was here first? Hello. How can I help you? Oh, mercy, he left. I want to rent the house and advertisement. House and advertisement has two bedrooms, one bath. Rent amount is $8,400 a day. This house is really cheap. I accept the offer. Awesome. I'm preparing the tenancy contract right away. We gained 20 skill points. Got the home rented. Oh, yeah, we need to rent it for a few days and get our money back that we paid for it. This is working out just fine. We're going to have enough money. We're going to be able to fix this place up. We're going to have enough money. We can uh, go buy another place. So this is bottle. Let's put that in the glass. This looks like it's plastic. Oh, yeah, we're on a row. All right. Today the race is open. We don't have a car to race. All we have is a truck. See, we need something like that in the house that we rented. All right, that's going to do it for a state agent simulator. Next time we get on, we'll be collecting money for rent. We're going to have to get another house and uh, just start making some more money. We need to go to Storage Wars. We need to go to the racetrack. 
A lot of things we need to do and want to do, and we hope to catch y'all next time. Thank you so much for stopping by with the old gamers Lane and Wayne, and we'll see you next time. Y'all take care.